Hello, beta testers, investors, infusions, bailouts, and what seemed to be an inability to find someone dumber to leave holding the bag has let Embracer, after out of touch blunders like a hipster not punching down Saints Row reboot, to layoffs. Person of color me surprised. I can hardly believe that deals falling through after fighting fans and a product selling poorly is bad business? Payday 3 releases to such a whimper that the years old entry Payday 2 retains a much higher player base than its fresh sequel. But ugly women and woke signaling has even reached mainstream slop like Spider-Man 2, with studios proud to be racist rewriting another culture's language. How very Latinx of them. Woke groups double, triple, and quadruple checking that every inch is oozing with unprofitably woke messaging. I imagine it's only a matter of time until Dustborn is the norm, or the new normal, as their talented writers always say. People deserve an outlet, an escape, especially after they paid for a deception, the Scott Pilgrim bait and switch that Kevin Smith and Disney are so familiar with, a game called Marvel's Avengers, but it's actually Kamala Khan and Kate Bishop, <laughs> a game called Alan Wake that's actually this lady for the majority, and she used to be a white lady, but you know, let's swap that for inclusion. Bad writing too, because what did we expect for them to actually read enough to convincingly represent an FBI agent or, or even more hilariously, for them to have any experience that would have allowed them to, at the very least, fake interesting. Damn. I guess the sky isn't the limit. The limit's your imagination. And when you're not very imaginative, when you're not very creative, we can't help but notice that the misery that you claim to reach through the oppression that your lifestyle, your very existence affords, paradoxically, is entirely missing from your work, and the work would benefit from its inclusion. The edges you woke entities have shaved off, the color gray you've smeared on this canvas fails to evoke emotion. A crippling irony, when emotion seems to control you, the hilarious truth is most of what we've seen is only the outer crust of a turd with a creamy filling of post-surgery discharge from these fresh transitioners calling themselves developers. Give people stuff you know they want so you can inject things yeah. that maybe they aren't familiar with or maybe they don't know they want but make them like that stuff. And it'll forever remain undiscovered because the gamers have grown so apathetic that we can instantly filter out all of this woke propaganda at a glance with your ugly flat-chested fucking women that you can make from scratch. We're on autopilot, like, a, like a, you're stopping at a yellow light and you're not even paying attention. You'll make the money off the sheep playing Diablo and Destiny and that, you know, they're bad enough that SBMM hasn't chased off of games like COD, but even Larry Fink recognizes that it's time to force behaviors in another less high profile way. Maybe, maybe he wouldn't be so dumb as to go, look at this picture. This is a beautiful woman. <laughs> and they've got corporations that were backing them potentially not so interested. Spider-Man's director said he needed to inject. Holy shit, man. So Embracer gobbled up a bunch of studios and, and now they could be shutting down. Time splitters, oh no. Should make some of those IPs nice and sexy and available for purchase, right? It's all about trimming the fat so that we can m more easily consolidate, right? An excerpt reads, Saints Row's studio volition has had to close down completely, while Tomb Raider's developers Crystal Dynamics have been forced to lay off 10% of their workforce too. 
There are also rumors that Free Radical Design have all been fired and the new Time Splitters has been shut down by Embracer. This while Dead Island 2 made a profit after being in development hell for several years and Payday 3 is already making a profit despite a troubled launch, end quote. Did you hear K-pop stands were so mad that anime made in abyss was trending because Twitter kids tried to insinuate that liking anime equals kid diddleophilia? <laughs> Sort of how recognition of an unattractive woman in a video game must make us coomers oh, because you want to be poor strike you kick it off to her. Whatever keeps you responding to us. If you were smart, you wouldn't even react. Even when they admit they're deliberately casting down to challenge beauty standards it's okay for thee but not for me it's a healthy exploration and discovery of oneself for y'all but the male gaze is evil this hypocrisy is guaranteeing people will seek to avoid including you in the future not because we believe in exclusion the way you do but because you've made it obvious that your objective is to ruin fun sex is why there's 8 billion of us. So the anti-hetero regime deciding everything's harmful and even mods need to be removed to protect the messaging. I think it's time for pushback. If exercising my right to speak freely about a defective video game that I paid for is hate and is riling people up, then I guess my big dick ass could have been talking about fucking bagels and pissing people off. You people up my ass. You people up my ass telling me to touch grass, telling me to hug trees, telling me get on my knees and kiss that ass, kiss the feet, that's what you like, and I might just skeet in your face, nigga. What a disgrace, nigga. Listen to this out loud you and i have unknowingly paid for near a decade for content that has been censored and loaded with the moronic ramblings of multiple entities whose emotions are as unstable as the hormones that their medication artificially induces and they can't even make it entertaining describing it is more entertaining it's a behind the scenes that's more interesting than the actual production all these video games technically have the colon, what happened here? And it's matching the movies and the TV and all of this crap that we would pay not to see. So the layoffs can continue until morale improves because we are not served. There is no service. We are paying to be upset. Beta testers, do you remember a game called Immortals of Avium? Of course you don't. But VGC claims the CEO of Immortals of Avium developer Ascendant Studio says that poor game sales due to a crowded release window were what led to nearly half the team being laid off, end quote. To which I responded, maybe the oversaturation of ugly bitches in gaming led to sales going out the window. Going above and beyond the ESG is such an effective layoff speed run developers and I don't care what anybody has to say playing devil's advocate to this when something appeals more it will do better sex sells you put that next to something else they will click that one every time this is as simple as two comic books with one more appealing comic book next to it I'm sorry we're on YouTube you know how thumbnails work right but you can pet the dog in some of these games okay all they have to do is not take the Scott Pilgrim out of Scott Pilgrim, man. But, you know, these insomniacs out here wishing Spider-Man was a, a discount ugly Lois Lane walking simulator. We are embarrassed for you because AI can instantly outdo you because it will actually supply the demand. Like a, like a criteria that we're typing in, it is giving us results based on our input. Based, nigga. And that's what Gaben said, is that when you are in the game world, it should react to you, dude. The degrees to which the game recognizes and responded to the player's choices and actions. If you shoot at a wall, there have to be decals. 
If you kill a bunch of Marines, the Marines have to run away from you. The game acknowledging and responding to the, the choices and actions and progressions that you've made, otherwise it loses any, any sort of impact. The Nintendo niggas, the Valve niggas, they'll get this shit. They'll be celebrated, they'll be remembered. And, and again, it's not an insult to the people who are doing this because they don't want that kind of infamy. They really just want to ruin. So I hope it's something they can stroke their lady cocks to when this is all over because holy shit, man. I, 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 we don't not appreciate the precision here. You've effectively ruined this shit. If you can make an effort to repel people with vomit-worthy images that demonstrate how angry you are at normal and heterosexual people, then your studio can afford to lose money. And most importantly, interest. It's worse. Losing interest is worse. Beta testers, you are encouraged to create, mod, and appeal to female and male gays in crafting your mesmerizing work that people will simply choose for looking the way that it looks. If girls watching me with big pretty titties can accept how appealing these things are for people, then we can all recognize how lucrative Edward Cullen is in his Twilight and how Femme Fatales really do sell some of these projects. Get these triggered bitches the fuck up out of here. The nightmares that they're weaving, we can appreciate them in a horror movie. Why they gotta be in everything? With no one to carry the memory of your, your brand, you fade for good. Stop arguing with people. They're buying your merch, they're advertising, they're your personal billboard, and you're gonna you're gonna argue and spit in their face, talk about, oh, this ain't for you anymore. <laughs> okay, dude. We're willing to see it all die. You know, it's it's bad business. It's bad business. They'll turn on each and every one of these people and cannibalize one another, and that's what we're seeing right now. And the smart thing to do would just be to back off, but it is something to see. Okay? So, in the same way. You remember Frosk and she had all that stuff to say? And you remember that bobblehead token black guy? Talk to him! Oh, she cooking, y'all! It's always gonna be that. Beta tester, like and comment on this video and on creators that you want to be a voice that is elevated in the way of reason that just represents you. They could even be on that bullshit. Just as long as they're representing you, like and comment so they float up. Tired of the shill ups, tired of these people who won't address shit. People are not gonna talk about Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, man, okay. They see innovation and they wanna bury that and they get angry and they have a, a meltdown. Even Baldur's Gate had the devs melting down. And when you have to say, I'm not getting owned, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> okay, man. Guys, I love you. I'm sorry. I should get the, you know, I don't think it's too much to ask, right? It's not too much to ask. It's like, is it, it's pathetic. People are defending Sky or, or Starfield. Oh my God. The Freudian slip. Oh my God. It's still Skyrim because that's the engine it's still in. Beta tester, vote for me. Vote, 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 vote. It's impossible to even stay to a script if I write it these days. And it feels like I'm a firecracker ready to go off here. Something, something about to get awful in this industry. But what I hope is that when some of these Asian games roll out... <laughs> bro, I'll just shut up. Holy fuck, I can't wait. I love you. Take it easy.